All right, as you can see, I scoped the pistons. Everything looked good. My VVT pulley was bad. If you can see how much it's moving on here, it's really not good. It's moving all over the place. So I had to replace that VVT. And if you look down here, this is the, uh, the VVT pulley, as I put it. And it's got that little button on the side that's not supposed to move like that. That's what's got that little chunk taken out. Definitely not good. Now I went ahead and I pulled the valve covers off and it didn't look bad inside. It looked pretty new. I mean I was expecting a lot of wear and tear for 150,000 miles. But overall it didn't look bad. All of this stuff has been taken out as you probably saw last time. Move all this over. Do my, all my valve train. And this power steering pump hose went and busted. Made a huge mess all down there. Just got a new hose for that. Hopefully that's going to work. Over here. Let's see where you are. That little vacuum line. Make sure you guys are getting this vacuum line. It's all crusty. Just got a new piece for that. Hopefully that's going to work. There's my crusty turbo. Hopefully that will be coming out soon. That wasn't so hard. Here's the key, guys. When you're trying to get this off, and this, ooh, that's still hot. That stupid bolt is really loose, or really tight in there. Best thing to do, get yourself a torch, heat it up for maybe 30 seconds or so, that's what we did, and then it actually came right out. And we're using a, a cheap little electric impact wrench. It doesn't have a lot of torque to it, but it still worked. Still got it out, because heat is a champ. Thank you. Sorry I didn't film the disassembly and the VVT replacement. I'm going to put a link in the description of people that do a much better job showing that. I just wanted to get this thing done and back on the road. Alright, hopefully this is a little bit better view of the EGR valve. Try to show you how dirty this thing is. But I'm getting ready to clean this thing up. Okay, as you can see, everything's kind of put back together on this side of the engine. Had a couple problems with the oil filler caps. So I gotta repaint that. The old turbo is still in there. Uh, I was just waiting for that to be pulled out of there. But you'll see that in a minute. Uh, that gets all taken out. And uh, everything else is pretty much buttoned up except for the intake. Alright, this is just a little time lapse of what it took to take off all the vacuum lines, coolant lines, oil feeds, all that good stuff in there. I didn't want to bore you showing you this in real time. So, you guys know the drill. You just take off everything you might need on the new turbo from the old turbo and just disassemble it. Not too difficult to do. These are the things that take a lot of time from me builds. Number one, having a bad back and having to wait for people to help you. Number two, not having a garage and having it rain really sucks but that's okay let me just pop the hood and show you where we're at everything's taken out turbo is all taken out waiting for the new downpipe to come in so we can get that in there again <laughs> get away for some help and the new turbo in then we just gotta button everything up there's the new freshly painted intake 
or excuse me, valve cover all in there. And you can see I gotta redo that because we had some boo-boos. Got the VVT all put back in. Hopefully this thing's gonna be back on the road soon because I really miss it.